Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PECGO video. Today guys, we're going to be opening up 50 Unified Minds Packs. They are now live in the PDCGO store, which is really exciting. This is a pretty good set and hopefully we can get some good pulls. 50 packs is quite a bit. I've already opened up around like 40 packs already, um, but now we have 50 packs to open up here. And of course guys, if you're ever trying to get PDCGO, oh wait, we can buy more. Oh, what the? I didn't even realize. Okay, we can get 53 packs. Didn't even realize. The more the merrier. It's going to take a while to redeem these. But of course, guys, if you're ever looking for PDCGO Unified Minds Code, you're still trying to get them, uh, you can head over to Car Cavern TCG, get them there. Of course, at the checkout, if you put in the discount code, code LDF, you find yourself a 5% discount on the entire order, and it supports the channel. So, of course, guys, if you're ever trying to get PDCGO codes, you're trying to get Unified Minds Codes, uh, just get them over at Car Cavern TCG. Um, and yeah, I need to do a, uh, screenshot of the pack opening. So, first pack, and again, I've already opened up a few packs, but there are still some cards I didn't get. So, our first pack here, we get a Noivern, and we get this Fly, Flyninium Air Slash. This is actually a decent card for, uh, and there's also one with Tackle, which is kind of cool. The Noivern is not great, but, I mean, it's kind of like your Tapu Koko replacement type of card so we'll open another pack here we do get a giant bomb and a tapu fini okay that's cool i know some people might be looking for those um so we're gonna do this get a screenshot all right there we go boom all right we'll uh keep trucking through the packs here see what we can get next all right what are we looking at here we got a ring guru and oh perfect we get a weavile i do need to get a few weaviles because i do want to build a dark box deck for Potentially my next video tomorrow because you're probably seeing this on the Friday that the set comes out That was a really good pull actually and we got another Versal Sneasel and our rare is a our acquainted so not that great We do get a karate belt though, which is decent karate belt is a pretty I would say a pretty decent card It's not that bad at all and uh, we get a recycle energy and we got a Dragonite Okay, so that's cool. I can trade off the other Dragonite that I have Unlocked because Dragonite some people might be considering to look at with Lance Prism Star Versal Archon is pretty cool and we got a Lucario now Lucario does have some potential with that ability giving your tag team Pokemon Technically 20 more HP, which is pretty good. If you have like four of these in play They take 80 less damage if you use this with Lucario Melmetal and you have a frying pan on and you use full metal wall that's like That's like 110 less damage. That's insane. <laughs> that is insane. All right, let's see what we get in this pack. Ooh, Reversal Great Potion. And all right, nice. We get another GX card. We get Espeon Deox. It's not the greatest card because I already have one, but I'll take it. Reversal Great Potion is actually good because I don't think there's a secret rare in this set. And all right, next pack in, we get a Bug Catcher. We got a Blizzard Town and another Flying Immune. And our rare is another Dragonite. Well, okay. Not the greatest card, but I'll take it. It could be good with Lance in the future. And we got two rares. We got, ooh, an Archaeops and a Coco. So this Coco's not that great, but the Archaeops is a good pull. All right, guys. So yeah, the Archaeops is a pretty good pull. I will definitely take that. Um, I am looking to build an Archaeops deck, so hopefully we can get, like, at least, I think I need one or two Aerodactyls. Because um, I only have one right now, so getting an Aerodactyl will be pretty good. Uh, I'm also obviously trying to get those dark box stuff. That's like the main stuff I care about. Ooh, we got a Cherish Ball. That's a good pull. And our rare is Unpheasant. Okay, we did get this new Stadium Nap card, which could be decent for decks that need stadiums like Viridian and Ultra Space. Potentially Thunder Mountain being another big one. The Cherish Ball, though, is really good. I don't think we'll get a secret Cherish Ball, but if we can, that'd be amazing. Or get a secret Viridian. We pretty much just got the same two cards in this next pack. Okay, cool. Nothing special there. The Cherish Balls are good to pull, though, because those are good trade bait cards. All right, we got two rares once again. All right, let's see what we get here. A little Marowak. Another Archaeops. So we're getting a couple more Archaeops, which is pretty nice. I think I have, like, what, five now because I have two Verse Hollows. Okay, we got, ooh, Verse Hollow Lapras. Another Dragonite. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Lapras is good, though, because this is a very decent card when you want to use it in Psyduck and Slowpoke Tag Team GX. Which we might pull one of those. Alright, Misty is pretty good. And hey, look at Keldeo. That's a pretty good pull. Keldeo is a pretty good card, I would say. Honestly, the only thing stopping it is Power Plant and other things. So Keldeo is definitely a card that I like to see. 
Hopefully we can get a couple more of those. I'm still hoping we can pull either Mewtwo Mew and ooh, we got a reset stamp. And our rare is Levani. Okay, so reset stamp, re reset stamp. That made no sense. Reset stamp is obviously a good card. Uh, ooh, Hoopa is another good pull. Hey, so we got our Weaviles. We don't really need any more than two Weaviles because most Art Box decks only play two. So we got our Weaviles. Now all I gotta do is get Umbreon, Hoopa, and we gotta get one Tyranitar, and we can build a Dark Box deck. The Hoopa is a great pull. This is a really good card. Um, kind of underrated, to be honest. It's a pretty powerful card. Uh, and we got Reversal Pikachu. Ooh, Whimsicott. This is a decent card, too. Prowl is a good ability to have. Being able to get any card you want is nice. That does not have Nuzzle. Okay. So we're... I don't even know how many packs we have left, but we're trucking through them. Another reset stamp. And our rare is a Drapian. Flip four coins. Okay, nothing too special. Reset stamps for days. I got quite a few of them. All right. Well, we have 35 packs left. I thought we had like 25, but we got 35. See if we can get a full art or a secret rare card. I haven't gotten one yet outside of a full art Maw Wild. And hey, all right. Speak of the devil. We got a full art Grimsley. Um, I actually think this card is a lot better than some people think. Being able to move three damage counters around like that is powerful. If you combo this with Distortion Door, you can do quite a few good things. You can technically make um, your Distortion Door go to one Pokemon, which is pretty good. I think Grimsley's honestly a underrated card. I know it's a supporter for your turn, so it's kind of bad. We actually got two Grimsleys in the same pack. Um, I know it's like kind of a weird card because it's your supporter for the turn, but I mean, if you have draw support cards, Grimsley could be really good, in my opinion. Um, it might help you with map to KO a, uh, a tag team Pokemon. I think Grimsley can definitely see some play. I see what we get out of this pack. Thunderous Reverse Hollow. I'm actually looking into making a deck with this card. It's not like a great card. Thunderous Gale being able to do 70 damage if you have Tornadus on your bench. DC is obviously rotating, but I still think that card could be kind of cool to play. I'm just trying to work out what to run it with. Let's see what we get in this pack. Another reset stamp. And another Espeon Deoxys. Alright, we don't really need two of them. We only really need one, but I can definitely try to make a deck with this card where I specifically just focus on that Psychic Club attack. And who knows, that might actually be pretty fun to do since Mewtwo Mew is going to be popular. Another Lapras. That's actually good because I can trade off... I, I'm pretty sure I can get a few packs out of these Laprases because some people might want to build Slow Duck, another Whimsicott. Alright, so our pulls honestly haven't been that bad. I'm a little impressed. Getting those Weavals are really nice. Uh, we got an Amoongus. This is a pretty cool card with Breloom, which I don't think I have any yet. So, And I also want to get a Frostlass, too. I was hoping I could maybe build a Frostlass Breloom deck. There's some hype for that deck. And then we got Bursting Spores when he plays Pokemon. Uh, when you play Pokemon that has a Spore attack from a hand during your turn, you may leave your Pokemon. Okay. That's a pretty decent ability. Uh, another Recycle Energy is good. I want to get some Secret Rare of those. Because Recycle Energy is, in my opinion, a pretty good card. Like, it's really good. Uh, ooh, three items in one pack. And we got a Eveltal blow through Shadow Impact. Uh, nothing too special there. More Cherish Balls are always good, though. We now have a full playset, so that's nice. All right, let's see here. Ooh, Caracosta. I was looking for one of these. We at least need one of these, I think, for those fossil decks. U-Turn Board, definitely a cool card, too. And hey, we get a Raichu alone, Raichu GX. This is arguably one of the best tag teams. I When I did my ranking video, I put this card so low on the ranking and i really regret that this is honestly a top four g tag team card in the entire set i do regret putting this card that low so many people commented about that it's not it's, it's a good card and it's not bad uh but yeah i got two of these and that's really what we need we only need two of them to build and put it in pika rom i might actually try to build a deck around it specifically instead of just running with pika rom because uh, i don't know if you guys really want to see a pika rom we got a giant hearth i only have three of those so I don't know if you guys want to see, like, a Pikaram Raichu deck. It's kind of like everyone else will be doing a video on that. So I can just make my own Raichu deck. And, hey, we got a Full Art Heat Ray. This is actually a pretty cool Full Art. The uh, red background really uh, helps, I think, make this Heat Ray stand out. Heat Ray, though, definitely a good card to have. Uh, that ability, Burning Road, is great for Reshizard since it's literally just Tapu Koko GX. All right, let's see what we get in this pack. Another GX. Full Art Chandler. Uh, another card that I think might be good, being able to remove all the effects of the attacks of each of your Pokemon is powerful. This is good with Reshi's art because it lets you use Flare Strike again. Uh, versus all Latias. Okay, so that Fuller Chandler is a pretty good pull, I would say. Really, only, you only need like one Grimsley, one Chandler, so having those are good. Another Lapras is nice. Cool. 
All right, our pulls have actually been good. All I'm really hoping for now is to get a secret rare item card. That would make, or secret energy. Drift Blim. Drift Blim's pretty cool. Being able to uh, switch your tag team active could be nice. You could just use that as like a one of in Reshi's art. So then you don't really need to run Chandler. So, I don't know. All right, another Caracasa and a Licky Licky. Discard your card from your opponent's hand. Discard the top card your opponent's hand. Oh, wow. That's a uh, pretty funny attack. I'm definitely going to try to make a deck on that card soon. Or eventually. I want to get all like the good cards out of the way first. Hey! Another GX! Naganadel GX! Another pretty good card to pull. I want to make a, a deck around Venom Shot. It's a, it's a really good attack. Being able to snipe something for 170. And of course, you have that great ability. And we got a Uctorn board, another Tag Switch, another Lucario. How many packs do we have left? 19, wow. We still have, like, pretty pretty good amount of packs left. We should be able to pull at least three more uh, good cards, I think. Three more uh, GXs, Secret Rares, Full Arts. Third Weavile. I didn't need it, but I will take it for sure. That That's great. We haven't pulled an Umbreon or a Tyrantar yet, which is kind of unfortunate. So I don't really want to trade for them. We got our first Blues Tactic. Another pretty decent card that could see play. Let's right, see what we get here. Double Rare. Nothing great. Uh, this Necrozma is pretty underwhelming. Reset stamp could be okay though, but again, I already have so many of those I don't really care. You don't really need any more than like two reset stamps either. Misty's Favor, Escavalier. Uh, if your opponent's active has no damage on it, it's just nothing. That's actually a decent attack. Uh, this could be a nice counter to like fairy types like Whimsicott and Guardian. Because you just play Shrine of Punishment or like Giratina or something. Alright, let's see what we get here. We got an Uxie. Uh, I do want to make a deck around these uh, Mesprit Azelf cards because Uxie giving anything times for weakness is good. You can actually really take advantage of that with like low, like kind of like weird things like Articuno and Landorus. And ooh, Magnazone. Didn't pull this yet. Double type giving it Metal and Lightning. Not a special card though, but a pretty cool ability. That new Galley that's coming out that gives it Psychic Fighting though is really good too. Hey, first weakness card energy. Pretty good. On This is. You may have each player shuffle all cards. Bruh. First weak card energy though, I'll take it. Definitely want to have a couple of those. Weak card energy could be a pretty cool card to play in some decks. Uh, another Magnazone. We haven't pulled another GX or Fuller or Secret Rare yet. Though this pack opening honestly hasn't been that disappointing. Uh, oh, another Naganadel. There you go. Asking you shall receive. Can I get a, can I get a Mew Mewtwo please? I want to put that in the thumbnail. Um... Another Archaeops. No Aerodactyls. Uh, the only thing I'm hoping for is like, again, Mewtwo Mew would be a great pull. And I do want, ooh, another Versal Lapras is sweet. If we get a slow deck maybe, that'd be epic. No, another Unpheasant. That card is the Butterfree of this set. Okay, another Caracosta. Scavalier. So we're down to less than 10 packs. Can we get a couple more good cards? We get Ace of Folly. I want to get an Umbreon or something. Oh, we got a Breloom, I actually saw. I want to get an Umbreon Hoop, uh, Umbreon Dark Ride. I want to get a Titar. Ooh, Frostlass. That's a good pull. Definitely am going to try to build something with Frostlass because it is a good card being able to one-shot Reshi's Art pretty easily. And it's good with Hustle Belt, too. Another Noivern. How many packs do we have left? I think we have, like, five. Four or five. And we got a Slack Off. Toxapex. Nice rare. Two for 70. Alright, we got three packs left. Will we get another good card in this pack? In these last few packs? Hopefully. Hopefully it's an Umbreon Darkrai. We'll see though. No, we got a Haunch Crow. It's a pretty bad card. We did get our first Slumbering Forest though. I'm surprised I didn't get many of those. And we got two packs left. Rare is a Latias. Alright, last pack. What will we pull? What will we pull? An Excadrill. Shuffle four cards from your discard pile into your deck. Okay, so that's like resource management on steroids. Okay, cool. Well, to be honest, that pack opening was not that bad. We got a decent amount of uh, GX cards. Uh, we got Keldeo. We did pull two Espeon Deoxys. And again, I can do a video on those guys. Um, no Aerodactyls. We did get our Weaviles though, which is pretty important, I think. We didn't get any, any Umbreons or anything. Uh, we do have our Garchomp Tinas though. Two Nagandels is pretty clutch. Uh, the Heat Rain is also a pretty good card. And we got those two full arts. So honestly, that was a pretty good pack opening video. So yeah, if you guys 
did enjoy the video of course guys uh, make sure to leave a like on it don't forget to subscribe down below to help me the road to reaching 6k 5100 subs stuff like that and of course guys um let me know actually down below what you guys pulled in your oh i forgot we pulled another raichu too so yeah pretty good packs to be honest with you we got a lot of decent cards um so let, let me know down below what you guys ended up pulling in your packs did you guys get any uh, good cards did you guys pull any really powerful cards did you get any secret rare verdian forests either uh that's one card i do want to pull i might have to just trade them off so far i could probably i could probably get three of those for like 20 packs each i think i'm gonna wait though until they drop down in price um, but yeah, that'll wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Of course, as always, check out the sponsor, Car Cavern TCG. If you're trying to get Unified Minds codes, just get them over there. Use code LDF for the checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount on your order. Get all the new cards, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the PCGO video. Follow me on Twitter down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.